take that clear. I'll bring it to everyone. We're at a break point in the story, but yeah. Sounds good. <clears throat> we have to skip over here. Yeah, it's for the realism, guys. Yeah. Optimized like yeah, game game get that the view. immersion. Uh, I think I'm immersion. the only one here that probably has more polygons <coughs> and material count than this entire world combined with everyone in it. <laughs> I would have doubted it. <laughs> Look, with the, I do have one avatar that has over a gig of extra memory. Uh, I don't know how that happens. Either. Don't worry. Wake hmm? the fuck up, same Wake right? up. Wake up! 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 Wake Oh, my babies are still alive, man. I hurt my throat. So attack. beautiful. It's attack. You and yes, yes, attack. It's attack. Good to see a second you ending. Good to see time. you. Yeah, you're just in time to second ending. Fucking watch me, nerd. Lol. Oh my god, you're mean. You are mean. I don't get why you don't use the. <laughs> The it's modified fun. version of your one avatar. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It's because you were afraid that it was always talk. Cracky Chan's I work. So. Oh. Your attention, please. I'll stop. Be quiet. This story oh. must continue. Did you ever send it to me so I could maybe fix like the eye look, Friends emo? Alazu T three C H N three R D V R. The story must continue. Apologies for the interruption. Now, the choice we made was in the inn upstairs. But after that, we're coming straight back here, so instead, I will tell you what happens in the inn. When given the choice between helping the Crimin's Titan or his own titan. We just followed the path of helping his own titan. However, now the narrative changes. The scavenger fights his own instincts and follows the crewman. Whilst they, they have a whole team of people relying on their titan, a family. They rush out of Jar Argentum and toward the North Dock. The scavenger and crewman make it. They both look up. The titan's guilds have almost gone dark. The entire ship creaks and groans as cargo slides across the angled deck. He's got bad quickly. We must hurry. There isn't much time left. This way, friends. Oh my. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. There's a mirror? Mirrors are lies. Why is there a mirror? What are you doing, Panda? I'm trying to run. Like he's no, doing panda we... tricks. He's he's doing panda. Behold. There's just not enough that time. All right, There's I'm gonna go get Nozomi. Behold, that's when it won't let go after it stings you. The ship's hull is slowly sinking. Clouds are spilling onto the deck. 
His family are screaming for them to hurry. They both make it to the top, and the crewman holds the scavenger steady. The scavenger holds his breath and applies the medicine. The effects are almost instant. The gills flash once and then glow steadily. Color returns and the ship is pulled back out of the cloud sea. They are all saved. They cheer and rejoice but the scavenger. The scavenger reaches out for grabs with his mind. is gone. Something steals his attention, a noise that rattles his bones. The deck vibrates, Argentum creaks. He looks up, up at Goldmouth, the great titan, who is weeping. Yes, he sees it. Just a quick glimpse, a shimmer of blue shining, falling from the eye of the titan, a single tear plummeting down toward the upper deck, where someone is waiting. The commander. My friends, I feel like a deja vu, because it is time for a confrontation. We've been here before. Come on, imagine using clients to be mean. What's wrong, Juicy? Hmm? What? Man, Ima imagine the imagine dragons. What? What's wrong? Oh. What are you doing? Imagine Damn, imagine. Dragons. I'm doing it. And I just oh. watched robotic perish. <laughs> I had to. Imagine dragons. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you only exist in the fourth dimension. I get you only exist in the fourth dimension. We're rich. Mushroom. Enough to make rich. my system glow. We're rich. Mushroom. We're rich. We're rich. Mushroom. <laughs> We're rich. Mushroom. <laughs> Mushroom. Oh. Ebo nuts. Mushroom. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so oh how long until until trade until Trajan becomes mission control and say mushroom, mushroom, shut it. <laughs> uh, I mean, if we all stop chant, hitting the we, barrels, we can. We can if we chant that, <laughs> I believe we could achieve a better goal. And that is what I want to do. The government wants to steal your power. <laughs> the government. No. The government. The C <laughs> fun fact, the CIA attempted to uh, stage your coup by uh, taking okay, a vampire That's okay, that's okay, man. Let them <laughs> <go>. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. This stress my wings man. again. My friends, please turn your world music back down to zero. And it's moments like this where the new worlds we make with our own menus and controls feel so much better. Now, now <laughs> the story continues. There he is. The commander of the Tornish ship has noticed the scavenger and crewman, but he has two gunmen with him. In his hands, he carries a small box. Even without seeing what's inside, the scavenger can feel the energy. There is a noise behind them. Two guards of Argentum are rushing up to see what's going on. The commander, before they can say anything, gives a single gesture 
and both is coming fire at the guards. The light is hot and bright, and there's the sound of matter dissolving. Out of nowhere, the crewman dives forward, taking advantage of everyone's shock. He manages to tackle one of the gunmen to his ground. Now he screams as the gunman's weapon falls to the ground. My friends, the narrative has shifted, and a new choice has presented itself. Red Pan 34. Yeah. Do you speak? Yes, I speak. Very well. Do we go for the weapon or the second option? Do we? go for the second option. I haven't said it yet. I was still thinking of something stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good enough to me. Let's go for it. The second ah, option yes. is to hear the question again. Okay. The choices are A, go for the weapon, or B, hear the question again. What will it be? Let's do a time loop. Let's switch on. Let's go for the weapon. Wise. Very wise. Oh, you could the scavenger the sees the crewman <laughs> dive heroically into one of the gunmen. He feels inspired, determined. He spots the gun lying on the ground. He lunges toward it. A hot blast of light goes past him, barely missing him. The heat unbelievable but the pair of them coordinate like clockwork the crewman tackles the other gunman once he's distracted and the scavenger picks up the dropped weapon and points it at the commander surrender he warns the commander slowly raises his arms and slam the argentine guard tackles the commander to the ground the scavenger watches as the box bounces once and opens, and a blue crystal, the tear of the gold-mouthed titan, rolls out and rolls toward the edge. He rushes to grab it, but it's too late. He looks over the edge in time to see the crystal crystal fall into the clouds below, which, strangely, opens up, expectant, and swallow the strange stone. The gunman and commander are all restrained and arrested. Goldmouth is alive and well. Argentum is safe. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief. The crewman approaches the scavenger. He looks nervous. He says that the scavenger did a truly selfless action, and the crewman feels responsible for the scavenger losing his home and titan. The scavenger assures him that it's all right, with a fake smile. The crewman nods and says he has an offer for the scavenger. He wants him to join their family, to live with them on their ship. He can still scavenge, but he won't be alone anymore. The scavenger nods. Yes, of course. It would be honoured. One of the Argentum guards gets their attention. He says the Admiral of Argentum wants to see them. The scavenger and crewman look at one another, eyes big 
and they follow their escort. My friends, let's go meet the Admiral. Let's be best friends with them. We're gonna have coffee. <laughs> ah, yes, drink uh, coffee. Let's cut what? off his fingers and make him eat it. Please don't eat this or anything. That would not be good. I will drink you to the flesh. Coffee, they can have no, a ton of coffee bread. Now. It's the season. But I joined. But that's homicide. But Thank you so much mm -hmm. for to playing my game. Get him, boys. We need to I cut off his toenails. So for playing my game. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing my game. You are all mob mentality. Oh, you so-called oh. free thinkers. <laughs> it's a me, Treyiji. <laughs> <laughs> Please, somebody call that. <laughs> Frosted. <laughs> My friends, for the conclusion, please turn world music back on for the last time. Yay. The Admiral is busy talking with other personnel when the pair of scavengers enter the bridge. When they're noticed, the Admiral goes to them and personally thanks them, shaking their hands. He had suspected that that particular commander had been harassing and intercepting their shipments for quite a while, but he never had any evidence. And if he arrested them without due course, then trade with Argentum from other towns would have closed. Since the commander's men opened fire without a due reason, he can now bring them all to justice. The Admiral, despite his experience, seems overjoyed, despite the efforts he goes to to hide it. He invites them to the window and asks what they know of Titans. The scavenger isn't sure what that question means, and he says as such in response. The Admiral looks out at the white clouds and goes quiet for a moment. Titans are the infant forms of higher beings, he says, filled with hundreds and thousands of years worth of ether and intelligence. Once they accumulate enough ether, they descend into the realms below the cloud sea. By this time, titans are so great in power that they are essentially gods. This is why titans are vanishing. As population increases in the sub-sea realms, the cloud sea, which is made of ether, becomes more dense. This increased density leads to titans reaching their final stage faster, which means they are leaving faster than they are being born. As a result, what they say is true. After a time, there will be nobody left above the cloud sea. The scavenger doesn't know what to think. Realms beneath the cloud sea? Dense ether? Titans becoming gods? Does that mean Gramps is actually? The Admiral interrupts his thoughts and goes on to say that the journey down through the ether sea is one that destroys any humans who attempt it. But. But. He knows a way. He's looking at the scavenger and crewman now. And they look at one another. There is a chance, says the Admiral. That blue crystal you saw fall into the cloud sea is pure ether. An ether crystal. It will eventually make it to the lower realms. It also acts as an egg. 
an egg for a new titan. The scavenger's whole body surges and tingles with adrenaline. He can almost hear the words before the admiral speaks them. I know how to survive the descent through the cloud sea, and I want you to do it for me. My friends, this concludes the tale of the scavenger. You have achieved the good <laughs> ending. Well done. My friends, as usual, some announcements and then a group photo to farewell this narrative and world. And then the after party. Well, the rendezvous. Then the after party. My friends, we are VR travelers. We create immersive story based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, and wholesome team effort. We do this for fun. We do this for free. We do this for you. However, we do ask one thing in return. Please join our growing Discord community and post photos and comments from today's tour in the Scavenger channel. There you can discuss the alternate endings to our tours, the secrets behind the narratives, and other mysteries. The server ID is in my status in VR chat. Please come up to me afterward if you want assistance joining. Finally, if you really enjoy the work our team puts into these stories, and you want us to create more stories, you want to help us craft handmade beautiful worlds, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Patreon starts at $3 a month, and a year of supporting us is still less than you would pay for a AAA game. Far less. Joining the Patreon gives you access and clues to our mysteries, behind-the-scenes features, eligibility to play character roles in some of our tours, private Discord channels, and voting power in events. My friends, we will take a group photo together, a farewell to this so rarely seen narrative. And yet, mm -hmm. it ties everything together, doesn't it? My friends, it really does. I suggest we take the group photo here at the helm. Ah, this isn't solid. I'll just stand in front of it. Yeah. My friends, we will face the entrance to the room. Please arrange yourselves. Photographers, get your cameras out and ready. Can I use small beans, Dad, if we have the thing? <laughs> Told while I adjust the settings of the camera to ensure everyone is seen clearly. With science. The power of science. The science option on your camera. My friends, this we need something to say on the count of three. Something that appropriately farewells this narrative. These say Obama. This day on. Say Obama. That. Farewell. <laughs> Obama. All I can think yeah. about Obama. I'll see you in the scavenger too. Farewell, two. Obama. Farewell, to Obama. Farewell, Obama. To be continued. And, uh, Next time on VR <laughs> Traveler. Right. You are 100% right. This is not the last time we're seeing the scavenger. The scavenger 2 is coming. My friends, on the count of three, we are saying to be continued. And if anyone has the sound clip, feel free to play it after. <laughs> Very well. Friends, photographers, are you ready? Ready. One, two, three. To be continued. Oh. Do, 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 do,
continued. Good enough, Panda. Photographers, you have taken your photos. My friends, I will give you a minute or two to merry make amongst yourselves, and then I will drop a portal to the after party. I think tonight I am going to be. Elmen is not here. I won't be at the bar tonight, although I usually do in Sheen's absence. Tonight I'm going straight to the library. Please feel free to join All us right. for the after party for as long as you wish. The portal will be down in a minute or two. For now, the floor is yours. Fine. I want to see the new. I want to Can see I have the rug those, uh, sky things are. Uh, give me a sec. Purple. 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 Purple.